Hey everyone, it's Erica. And today we're talking a little bit about twin flames and a little bit of twin flame talk, twin flame guidance. Um, the past couple of days, I have really been going through my own um, turmoil, if you will, with a lot of limiting beliefs coming up a lot of remembering um, stuff that's not so pleasant, a lot of like guilt, shame, blame coming up around, um, you know, certain instances, basically a lot of my life, pretty much. Um, and this was maybe like lasting me two days. I tried to not drown myself in it, like, you know, I don't want to drown myself in these sorrowful thoughts and, um, like, dwell in them. However, at this point, I know that if something's coming up, it's usually coming up to be either cleared out or healed or looked at and really, you know, taken care of for, for good, hopefully. Um, and then I realized that what's actually going on is a collective issue here. Um, and the energy reports on the Divine Masculine are exactly speaking to what just happened. Guilt, shame, blame coming up around... Um, cir circumstances, scenarios, uh, certain ways things played out, um, how he's treated his divine feminine, not in the best ways. And ever since I kind of heard about, um, the divine masculine is your ego, because obviously if you're going with the teaching that the twin is within, Nothing is outside of you. Everyone is you pushed out. Um, we have to realize that the divine masculine is only mirroring what we're putting out. So if we're putting out guilt, shame, blame, rejection of ourself, they in turn are going to show us that. I know it's really confusing. That's why I'm here to talk about it. <laughs> Um, so another tip that I got from another twin flame was when you're watching the readings or when you're getting a reading or when you're looking to see what's the divine masculine doing, always keep in mind that the divine masculine is actually within yourself as part of you. So with all of that in mind... As I was going through this, like, two days of turmoil, you know, I was just thinking, okay, maybe this is all this shit coming up because it's got to be cleared out, you know? Um, I, I really wasn't following too much about what the exact planets were doing. I'm not, I'm not an astrologer. I'm not a master astrologer. I do keep up. I do have basic knowledge, but... Um, I do follow people who are master astrologers, and they did say there was something going on. There is some kind of a conjunction going on that's causing this to be brought up. And I know a lot of this can just be, like, really disappointing because you're like, didn't I get this already? And... You know, it's kind of like when you're on this twin flame journey, it's not a straight line of ups and downs. It's a spiral. And you're just going to keep coming back to the same things. So I read on on this, uh, this person's blog, basically, guilt, shame, blame coming up very heavily right now, which that's what happened to me. Um... And if the divine masculine can correctly heal from it, meaning you and yourself, then things are going to 
take a big shift. Um, if not, they're going to continue in this loop pattern until it comes around again to be cleared out. So I know for me personally, it's been one fucking hell of a time. Um, basically, an entire lifetime of shit having to be cleared out. And I had to look deep within myself and forgive the person who didn't know any better because you don't know what you knew until you knew it. Right. And that's kind of a hard, it's kind of a hard, uh, pill to swallow, I guess you could say, but you know, even though I felt like I've always just done my best, um, but maybe I haven't because I obviously I'm not my best self even yet. Um, that you have to go and look back at your past and just send forgiveness to that person. Send love and send light to that person who is struggling to even know who they were, what they were doing in that moment. Um, and accept shit for how shit went down. And only then can you move forward. And, you know, I had a big release doing this. Um, and it was like, you know, I even took a day off of reading people because, like, I was just really into my own energy trying to clear this stuff out. And I think, you know, I got a lot of it. Um, but... This, this is a union year. I mean, I coach a lot of people and I am always so excited when they message me and they tell me, oh my gosh, my twin reached out. Like, yes, you know, this is great news. And so if you are kind of coming up like with just... It doesn't even have to be memories, you know? A lot of this stuff, the thing it, the thing about the subconscious mind is that it's not even necessarily the memories and the visual the visual memories of things. It's the way you felt during those memories. And um that can oftentimes be a major major trigger like Whatever it is, even if it's not even remotely the same thing, like me, for example, and probably a lot of divine feminines, yeah, I'm working on healing my abandonment wound, right? Like, this is obviously something that has to be healed. Um, for any of us, like, obviously, I want harmonious union with my twin. I don't want him running away from me. So where am I running from myself? Where is my abandonment wound still open? Where do I need to heal? These are the questions I'm asking myself. This is what I'm doing, right? So, you know, I went through, there's some great meditations for um, healing abandonment wounds right here on YouTube. And I just really made a conscious decision to like go back in time, kind of relive some stuff I was dealing with and try to forgive myself for getting into these positions, forgive myself for repeating cycles because I had no clue what was even going on. I mean, I was in a really, really hard cycle for a really long time. Um, and I was not even aware of it because there was no one talking about this. Um, and I feel like twins today cropping up are at such a more advantage because you can just go on the internet and learn this stuff. Um, whereas I had no fucking clue, right? And I had to forgive myself for um, being forced into situations because I apparently with my subconscious wounding created that shit for myself. Um, you know, paying the price. But I choose to heal. I choose to not repeat. I choose to keep striving every day to be the best version of myself. And that's, I guess, what I'm going to continue to do. Um, you know... 
not just to be with my twin, but, you know, for whatever could be waiting in the future for me that I can co-create with the universe. Um, but that being said, like, hey, side note, and I may have already talked about this on a video, and I don't know if I posted, I don't know if I'm even going to post any of those videos that I made when I was, like, all down in the dumps, but, like... <laughs> The ego self of me wants to say, you know what, how about this? Like, how fair is it that we have to be the best version ever of ourself in order to be with our twin when like so many mediocre, dumbass fuckers are booed up right now having great times? Like, I want to just say, hey, you know what? I'm enough. I'm enough now. Like, I should be good enough now. I should have been good enough a year ago. Um, but yeah, it's like... <sighs> the awakening spiritual journey is not for the weak and it's not for everyone i get it like i'm a chosen one i'm not here for mediocrity but you know what some days i don't want to be my best self some days i just want to be comfortable some days i want to be in my sweatsuit and not sit there and strive to be the best I can in business and not sit there and be the best. I just want to be just fine how I am. And I just want to be loved in those moments too. So take everything, you know, for, for what you may resonate with. And who knows you guys, who freaking knows? I, I wish every twin to be in a harmonious union. I really do because I know the pain behind this journey and I know that I can't be the only divine feminine out here just healing her ass off, trying to be the best. Like, at what point are our efforts enough? You know, so... Another lonely winter in the books. And I'm hoping that this springtime will bring communication, union, um, dates, fun, getting a house together, you know. Um, and I just, I am just going to have to keep healing everything until everything's fully healed, I guess. But, you know, I keep up on the Twin Flame reports, everything. I mean, it's a good time for union. Unions are popping off. Unions are really popping off. So, you know, the it's on our side. Union is on our side. It's really happening for a lot of people. So, I mean, I'm just going to continue to keep the faith, keep the trust. And... I pulled myself a card the other day and I didn't like it. It said, um, this rejection is actually divine protection. So, you know, I wasn't too happy with that. I wanted to hear like, oh yes, he's coming back. I guess that's just my ego, right? Like, come on now. But at the end of the day... You know, it's just really, really necessary to get outside of the ego self and connect up with your soul. And when I do connect up with my soul, I have a much easier time telling myself, hey, you signed up for these lessons. You are more than what you've been through. You are more than what's happened to you. You are more than the choices that you got thrown into making before you awakened and you deserve love. Like that's, that's a lot easier to say to yourself when you connect to your soul 
and just get out of that ego chitter chatter mind and um so yeah so that's always necessary but anyways um i expect communication at any time now i will definitely make a video i'm probably going to be super excited when it happens um i'm just going to keep making my videos i want to help all twin flames and really all people who aren't twins either because um you know everybody's out there trying to create the life they want and we don't have to settle for our programming and that's what i'm here to show like if i can break free of the shit i've been programmed with for a lot of number of years then like you can do it too and so i'm just here to be an example of freedom i'm here to be an example of subconscious rewiring and i'm here to be an example of trust and unconditional love so i hope this video gave you something that you needed today and yeah bye